Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the brand new EPOS Expand Vision One 4K webcam. The Vision One is certified for both Microsoft Teams and Zoom. And in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the device, going over its features and specs, showing you how to get it set up and manage it. And then we're gonna walk through an actual demo of using it for video recording and audio recording using the onboard mics. Before we get to all that, if you are not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that handy little subscribe button below. And if you like the video, I would really appreciate a like down below as well. And sharing is caring, right? So please share the video all over your social media accounts. And with that little shameless self plug done and out of the way, let's check out the Vision One. The Expand Vision One is a fairly new device to the EPOS video portfolio. Once we get the box open, we take a look right up here at the top. We've got kind of our, our quick start guide printed on the inside of the label, uh, very eco-friendly. We are told to go to eposaudio.com slash connect and uh, that'll let us manage the device. And then right below that, we see how to simply uh, use the onboard hinge to get the right angle of the webcam on any size monitor. Down below, we see it's a simple USB connection to our laptop or PC. And then finally, we see that we've got a built-in hardware privacy shutter. Let's check all that out. Right at the very top here, we'll pull out our package. The only thing left in the box at that stage is our paperwork. So we'll slide that over. And our carrying case just has a protective plastic on it. And then we've got the EPOS branding right there. Now, this is a hardened carrying case. Kind of has a cloth feel to the outside, but it is a hard case meaning you can use this as a portable video device, taking it with you, throwing it in your backpack. It might get jostled around, might get smashed between objects, and it's not going to hurt the camera because this case is going to take any amount of pressure there and protect the device inside. Now our zipper does go three quarters of the way around, so we'll unzip it. And as we open the lid, we get our first look at the camera. It obviously has a protective wrapper on, we'll get there. And the top, we've got this little elastic mesh pouch that holds our USB-C cable. Now this USB-C cable has one end to go into your laptop, and the other end has this unique kind of L shape so that it can go into the back of the device and then immediately send the cable downward rather than having to curve it downward. So kind of a, a unique approach to the whole cabling of a webcam. Pulling the camera out of its place, again, with the hardened case, it's not just the device floating around this hardened case. There is a hardened mold right here so that the camera sits in a very specific exact spot during transport, ensuring it does not get smashed or jostled inside the case. The protective plastic will slide right off, and right on our lens there, we've got a little bit of protective film as well. And that leaves us with the Expand Vision One. Now, right up here by our EPOS branding, that is that uh, privacy shutter. If we just take it over to the side, that physical shutter opens right up and back the other way closes right up. The Vision One is again a 4K capable camera. It has a few different presets to allow you to have a more narrow or wider view. EPOS's website boasts that the two onboard omnidirectional microphones have excellent voice pickup with the quality of audio that EPOS is known for. At the back of the device, we've got our USB-C plug right there for that little L-shaped connection we just saw. And at the bottom of the device, we've got a mounting port right there for your standard tripod mounts. The built-in hinge connects here at the back and it just simply uh, slides outward this way so that you can attach that to the back of uh, really any size monitor or laptop that you might be wanting to put it on. You can get a much wider fit here, something thinner like a laptop. In either case, you'll get the right angle for the webcam. And we've got a, uh, a rubber right down here that will protect the surface that it's touching without scratching it and keep it from sliding around. That same rubber grip backing is on the inside of this lip right here as well. And with that, let's get it plugged in and take it for a test drive. Before we go to put the Vision One on our laptop, we'll take the L-shaped part of our USB-C cable, plug it right into the back like so, and there you can see as it sits on the back of a device, it's sending that cable straight down. 
Once you've got the Vision 1 connected to its USB-C cable, it will just sit right on the top of any monitor like so with that back hinge opened up and, uh, and it's gripped in place. We're now ready to plug it in and take it for a test drive on the laptop. Okay, so on the laptop where we've got the Vision 1 plugged in, uh, you can see we've got the uh, EPOS Connect software up and it sees the Expand Vision 1 plugged in. So we, we've got the device recognized we have this floating menu that we can pop out here that gives us control of our video. So if we want to keep that handy and we're going to be doing video in some other application or a, you know, within our teams or wherever, uh, we can control some of the features of what that video looks like right from here. Uh, if we go ahead and click on the, you can see it's up to date. Right, so you can go down to your updates overview and check for updates down here, but we're all up to date, so nothing to check for there. Clicking on the device will give us a preview. So we've got our preview right there. Um, and we've got a few settings that we can use to customize what this experience is like. Now, we've got a close up view selected. Here's the default. And then we've got a wide view, which comes out even wider. Okay, I am going to go for a close up view just so we can kind of keep within focus. Um, you can mirror your image if you want. Um, that way you, I turn my head here and I actually see my head turning in the direction I think it should. Uh, so we can mirror the image if we want to. I'm going to turn it off just so that it's a natural feel here. Uh, Anti-redness, we can turn that on too if we feel like we're having redness issues with our image and our lighting. I will say that EPOS does say on their website that the device is made to optimize your image uh, in any type of lighting condition. So even if you throw some tricky lighting at the camera, you should still have a pretty good uh, image coming through on the stream. On our lighting down here, we've got the default setting. Now, if you feel like you need to lighten up your image, it's coming through a little darker, you can click light and you see it does actually lighten it up. We can click on dark and darken the whole feel up a bit. That's obviously not true to nature, and we want things to be nice and bright. So I'm going to stick with either default or light. And uh, and to be fair to uh, to the image, maybe we'll keep it at default just so that it's the most natural feel in the room. And then temperature, you can go from your default to cold over to warm. I'm not. I'm really noticing much of a difference as I switch there, so we'll just leave it on default. And then under more adjustments, you've got all these things that you can mess with that I never mess with because I don't know what I'm doing there. Uh, you can change your brightness, your contrast, hue, saturation, sharpness, your white balance, your anti-flicker. You can disable anti-flicker. And we've got our zoom. So we're zoomed in all the way here. We can bring the zoom on out. We can bring the zoom into the middle. We got those three presets that we can work with as well. We'll leave it zoomed in for close-up. And you can see with the floated menu here, as I move that in, it actually is eliminating uh, the preset. And as I move it over to the far side, that's the wide view. So we're kind of those presets represent the two extremes and then the middle. Going back out though, those are the settings we've got. We Again, we can keep this window popped open to uh, manage the way our image is coming through and whatever stream we're, we're recording into. But for now, that's managing the device within the EPOS Connect software. Let's actually record using the camera and the microphones on board. Right now, we are not using the Expand Vision 1 camera uh, for my image in the lower right-hand corner. We are seeing its preview, but we are recording through the built-in microphones on the laptops. So now we're going to record with the built-in microphones on the webcam and see how that differs. So as I mentioned, we are now recording using the Expand Vision 1 as the webcam and we are using the two onboard omnidirectional microphones to capture audio. So you're getting the full audio video experience captured using OBS Studio on this laptop. And we brought up the window here for our, uh, our Expand Vision 1. And uh, we're going to maybe just play with a couple of the settings here so you can kind of see how it may or may not change. Uh, but we've got the close-up view now. Again, we can change that. Um, you know, if we go back out wide, you can kind of get a little more detail of the room around me. Uh, but we'll we'll come back in for the close-up. Uh, mirroring image, we can mirror that. You know, change that image in flight while the camera is being used in another application. Turn our anti-redness on or off. Uh, we can change to dark 
we can change to light, uh, or we can leave it at the default. So that's kind of the difference between those. Again, with the temperature earlier, I wasn't seeing a lot of change here, but we'll go from default to cold. Not a lot of difference for me anyway. I'm colorblind too, so I don't know how much that comes into play. But warm, still don't see much of a difference for me. Default. Now, I'm not going to mess with all the advanced settings, but again, we've got all that white balance, anti-flicker, and all your other customizations that you can make for, uh, for your image. So not going to change any of that, but there are the options that you've got available to you using that little pop-up control window. If I'm in a Teams meeting, I want to change some things up really quickly or you know, streaming or whatever the case is, I've got this handy little, little menu here to kind of customize what that picture looks like. And as we slide into our closing for this video, we'll continue to use the Expand Vision 1 for both audio and video. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you found the video useful and helpful. Again, remember this webcam certified for both Microsoft Teams and Zoom. If you found the video helpful, please throw a like on the video, share it with all your colleagues, appreciate the support. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already and then so that you don't miss out on future content, turn on notifications. With that, I humbly thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope we will see you back here for the next device overview video.